Instagram. We're sideways. Ways I'm holding the camera sideways so that we're not sideways. Um, so the <laughs> tripod is sideways. So I, it's not even a tripod. It's no, I don't no, see it's a like live a, just okay. a stick arm thing. Uh -oh. um, Maybe I turn we still have our audience. We have our audience again today. Front bicycle wheel, three <clears throat> one quarter person. Hey. That's Silly Bones. Silly Bones went to Mexico again. He's always going to Mexico. Hey. And uh, we have our our true audience here. Our real audience, living audience, is uh, Uma the cow, Babette the cow, and Jack the donkey. And it it is cold in here. So that's why the rubbing of the hands, it wasn't some kind of weird ritual. It's, no, it's weird. It's weird, and it's a cold. So, uh, All right. play us another song. We'll play another song. Yeah, um, thank you. So this song is uh, just one of those songs that you kind of make up as you go, and I took a few notes here to, so I wouldn't, my mind wouldn't go blank. But uh, this song is called... Oh, wait, hang on. Why, Georgia? Wait, wait, wait. Georgia hung around for a little more of the show. I didn't just to make her appear out of the basket. We had a we had a person out backstage. <laughs> See if we can get Henry to come back out. A person and a purpose. There's Dan. Dan Dan's everywhere. Um, all right. So this Ju is a Judy, little number Judy. called "Whack 'Em with a Shovel on the Double," which is just uh, uh, full of violent imagery, which I do not condone. But uh, sometimes it's just so fun to say something like whack him with a shovel on the double <laughs> that it's hard not to just want to sing it. So that would be great to sing. This is the kind of song you can make up your own verses. If you were playing this at a campfire, everybody could sing a verse. I mean, Chris can play it on the banjo and uh, it would all be good. So, all right, <clears throat> we're going to try this out here. Chainsaw buzzing, he tore him with a chainsaw buzzing. He tore him with a chainsaw buzzing, whack him with a shovel on the double. Whack him with a shovel, whack him with a shovel on the double. He tore him with a knife and brandish, he tore him with a knife and brandish, he tore him with a knife and brandish, whack him with a shovel on the double. Whack him with a shovel, whack him with a shovel, whack him with a shovel on the double. First Cow Cafe. I, 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 I never even wished for something such great to happen. I know. Like that so is this. You could make up a verse for that. What would you say? Oh, Chris got another. Pig jumps in with a pickle and a carrot. Jake jumps in with a kip and a carrot. Pig jumps in with a pickle and a carrot. Whack him with a shovel. Double. Whack him with a shovel. On the double. Whack him with a shovel. On the double. She walks in teeth and glisten. She walks in teeth and she So Jenny, I... <laughs> Cindy Barrett, Judy, Judy Moy says, Cow Cafe is awesome. That's a first awesome. Yes. I like first awesome and a first song. A first first. Anyways, uh. I'm going to change my hat while they get here set up for the next song. Um, I went monkey hat the other day. Yeah. It's nowhere near as cold as it was last time. Thanks no, for no but it, 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 th there's, there, there's a little bit of a temperature. All right, did you, are you ready? <laughs> Pig and a pickle? Pig and a carrot. Pickle and a carrot. Pickle and carrot. You I know, feel like that's happened before. Uh, yeah. But like, I, I kind of feel bad whacking that pig with a shovel because he didn't do anything. The song has a little bit of a You guys are a standing, frame up. standing? <clears throat> We're still negotiating. <laughs> How's that tangible? Sure <laughs> We're still negotiating. Mind if I sit up here with you? Oh, yeah. Go for it. I don't want to fall through the floor. Yeah, there's a hole here. I saw it. <laughs> so, in 1986, uh, I met Chris Warner. Yellow Springs, Ohio, at Indiana College. And, and uh, true story, true story. we had a lot of uh, 
different kinds of folks down there. A lot of, uh, a lot, a lot of different. Uh, the donkey is biting the cow. Oh, and, uh, a donkey just bit the butt of the cow. Hey, hey, hey. We're going to hear the story. I'll, 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 okay, I'll, 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 so 1986, <laughs> you, Yellow Springs, Ohio. I I met Chris Warren on the first day of college. This is the first person out of the people I grew up with that I ever met when I went to college. Chris Warren. Some people call him CW. I still call him Chris Warren, though. Uh, so there were a lot of different people. There were a lot of like punk rock people. You know, at the time I was really into REM and learning about different punk rock. There were a lot of hippies there that were obsessed with the Grateful Dead. But Chris Warner showed up. He had a yellow VW bus. And in Chris Warner's VW bus, there, was, there wasn't one. There were several pictures of Neil Young hanging around in this VW bus. And there were like a fiddle hanging from the wall and a raccoon skull. And uh, there was, uh, you know, the turtle skull in there. And just all kinds of really cool stuff. And, uh, you know, this is you know, my kind of person. And, uh, but I, I didn't know anyone else at that age who was... I mean, I knew people who had like a Neil Young record, but I didn't really know anybody who was really into Neil Young. And so we used to kind of tease Chris, but then I learned through, you know, because of that, how great Neil Young is and uh, love Neil Young. It's okay. There's just some, there's just a, some kind of fight going on. Really big on their fight. This is what makes live TV exciting. Because oh my gosh, yeah. We have not located the pigs today. <laughs> thing is, I'll tell the story a little bit. The pigs have gone feral. Yeah. Pigs in the woods. There was a rebellion today at the farm. If you watch the animal farm, you get some ideas. Springtime. Springtime. Yeah. Everything's Roman. Anyways, that's why the duck didn't come. Well, anyway, uh, we used to kind of tease Chris about liking Neil Young so much, and it was really because we do it was just beyond what my small REM brain could take in at the time. Oh, yeah. But um, not that the REM was bad. But, you know, I was like, like the driver eight, and he was just like Neil Young. So, I had a, uh, at that time, we made up a song that was never really a finished song. It was just something we used to mess around with and sing for Chris Warner. So the song called Chris Warner. And um, at one point, Al Huckabee and Danny, Danny, uh, it is true, this recorded it, but I only remember two verses from that song. And I'm going to, the first two verses are going to be those verses, and then the rest are going to be new ones. Is this my second premiere? Uh, there's two songs that written yes. that I know of. <laughs> Like I have, I I don't have children's out there because I believed in the constipation. I don't know. What's the word? Constitution. Contraception. Contraception. Cons. What is that word? Contraception. Contraception. I use those things. <laughs> but I did have several songs birthed up from my encounters mm. with other human beings. Mm. See, uh, you leave an impression. So well, this song is actually a positive song about you. It's <laughs> like, uh, I don't know if I want to sit here because I'll turn red. No, that's embarrassing. I'll just uh, move you out of this. So, so as you screen. see, I wrote about fifty. <laughs> I wrote about fifty verses here in the last uh, few uh, weeks, and um, and the, one, the two first verses are from the original song, and then we then the new ones are new. So, so okay. So this if this sounds like a Neil Young song, it's supposed to sound like a Neil Young. song. Wine. Now his grape juice game is fine. 